morning everyone, happy 17th of October. How are we all today? I hope you're all doing well. It's getting proper chilly here now. There was actually frost on the fields when I was driving to work yesterday. Um, so yeah, we're getting to that time of year, which I do love. Um, as I've said previously, because I get to wear all my woolly goodness. So that is always good. Um, I'm just about to head into the office. I've got to make my lunch and then I can head into the office. Um, I have picked out my, my woolly wear for today and it is this wonderful number. Um, I can't really hold it very well, but if I can go a little, there you go. <laughs> Sorry. It is my shawlography. So Stephen West mystery knit along from, was it 2021 shawlography? That was my first. Um, absolutely love it. Um, I knit it with Eden Cottage Arms, but I'll tell you all this later and I'll give you a proper show of the shawl. But that's what I'm wearing today because it's big and it's comfy and it's warm. And when I'm in the office, my legs get a bit cold. Um, so if I wear a big shawl, I can put it on my legs, <laughs> keep my legs warm. That's the plan. Um, yeah, so what else? Oh, quickly as well. I have managed to finish leg number two of Margot the Swan. So I have two legs and, and I also, you'll be very, well, I'm excited. I don't know if you'll be excited, but I did one of her wings. So the limb a day is going well because that's yesterday's limb and today's limb done. So we'll see how we get on. <laughs> I'm feeling it at the minute. I am feeling it. So it's good. Um, yeah, obviously I haven't tied in any more ends of my mystery knit along but I still love it so much. I absolutely adore it. Um, yeah, so I'm super hyped for Thursday. It's only two days away. Are we excited? Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> anyway, I need to stop yabbering and get on with making my lunch and get myself to work. And then I'll be back in this afternoon. I do have a little bike ride planned because my new saddle arrived and I need to test it out tonight. Um, I'll probably only go on for like half an hour. Um, just to make sure that everything feels okay, comfy enough, ready for the long bike ride on Saturday. That's the plan. Um, but yes, I'm going to carry on with what I need to do this morning. But I will see you all in just a little bit. Good afternoon, everyone. I am back from work and I am changed into my workout gear because I'm about to go on my bike. Um, I am testing out my new saddle so hopefully all goes well. I'm just going to do a quick half hour ride, a uh, flat ride. I'm not going to push it or anything. Um, just a nice gentle ride just so that I can get used to my saddle, make sure it's in the right position and everything like that. And yeah, I keep covering my face with the phone, always fun. Um, but yeah, I am pretty tired, but that was my last day in the office. Um, I did get a phone call off one of my clients and he told me that some work was ready to pick up, which I have done on my way home. Very productive today, I know. <laughs> so what that means is tomorrow is going to be a lot busier than initially planned because I will do some work for my employed job. Then I'll do some work for my client. Um, hopefully get him all up to date um, so we're in a much better stead which is going to be fantastic. Um, I actually got to see him as well which was really nice. I like it when he's there when I do the pickup because um, I don't see him very often <laughs> so it was nice. <laughs> um, but yes anyway it's just been a whirlwind today, absolute whirlwind. Um, but yes so I'm going on my bike now um, and yeah I will update you with crafty goodness when I am finished. So, see you in a bit. Good afternoon, everyone. I am back for my final check-in of today. I have not long finished my little bike ride. It was a very short bike ride, actually. Um, I didn't want it to be too long. <laughs> but yes, it was nice to um, try out the new saddle and it is wonderful, so I'm really, really pleased. Right, onto some crafty stuff for you. Unfortunately, I've not done anything else on my mystery knit along geo gradient, so it's still sat on the side or waiting ends to be tied in. Yesterday, I did show that I have finished clue two, so if you wanted to see my version, please have a look at yesterday's video because I did show it all. And yeah, the only thing that's left to do is to tie in all the ends and then I'm ready for Thursday for clue three. Oh, I'm very excited for it. Right, now. The first thing I want to show you is the uh, shawl that I wore this morning and that was my shawlography and this was, I think it was 2021's 
Mystery Knit Along with Shawl by Stephen West. And there we go, that is mine. I loved this shawl, not only because it was my first uh, Mystery Knit Along, but I also loved it because of the shape of it. It's just the kind of shape that I really like and that I can style really nicely. Um, and also, I liked it because of all the different techniques that we had. It was a massive challenge, but I learned so much. Um, obviously we had brioche in there, two colour brioche. Um, we had these lovely, I had done these before, prior to doing this, um, but it was just nice to do them in this setting. And we had some bubbles, these lovely triangles, and these lovely sections. These what are affectionately known as bronze. I thought that was absolutely brilliant. These slippy Vs, absolutely beautiful. And then this lovely bit that we started with. So I absolutely adore it. Um, I usually just wear it like this, nothing fancy. Oh, I keep getting my clip. But oh, it is so cosy. I absolutely love it. Um, and the yarn I used, I'm gonna take it off because it is rather warm. So let's pop that down there. The yarn I used, now I did pick up the ball band. And oh, here it is, I've got it. It's all good, I've got it. The yarn I used was Eden Cottage Yarns and their Melbourne four ply base. Um, there were five different colours, but I can't remember the names of all of them. I don't have the ball bands for them all. Um, I believe I did update my Ravelry page for this project. So the names of the colourways should be on there. But the Melbourne four ply, is a makeup of 85% blue faced Leicester and 15% silk. And it is so luscious, it's beautiful. So that was my first ever Mystery Knit Along shawl by the Stephen West Mystery Knit Along. And I absolutely loved it. Um, let me know in the comments below actually, I'm very curious, what Mystery Knit Along shawl did you start with? Um, is Geo Gradient your first? Um, was it shawlography, was it uh, twists and turns, was it a prior one? Um, let me know. And if you did start prior to Geo Gradient, have you done it every year? And is there a reason you stopped if you didn't? Um, I'm very curious. Um, yeah, I like to have these sorts of conversations. Um, but yes, Shawlography was my first and I, I, I was hooked after that, basically. <laughs> I wasn't a massive fan of twists and turns, Although I learned a lot, um, I don't quite, I haven't quite figured out how to wear the shawl. I will show that at some point, um, but I believe in my Vlogmas series, I might have been finishing it off. Vlogmas 2022. I can't remember, don't hold me to it, but I will show it again at some point. But yes, that was my first. Um, now, I do have a couple of things to show you. Uh, nothing too different from yesterday I'm afraid but these are what I've worked on so in here I have my lovely pink fizz I'm actually working on this when I'm going to bed <laughs> so this is my bedtime knitting now um but I'm just working on sleeve number two so I did a couple of rows on that last night just to add in make it a bit longer but this is my pink fizz and the pattern is by Andrea Maori and it's just beautiful just absolutely beautiful and I actually have the yarn ball bands here so I can show you I couldn't show you yesterday um, but I can show you now and I think I got them right in terms of the names that I gave you of the yarn so I am holding together for this project I'm holding together this lovely yarn and this is Debbie Bliss Rialto four ply and it is in the colourway, unfortunately there isn't a name, but there's the colour 22034. And that is the main colour that I'm holding. And then I'm holding that together with this mohair. I've changed balls now, um, so I'm actually on proper sized balls. And the mohair, I was correct, is Drops Kid Silk Mohair. And the colourway is colour 03. Again, there isn't a name. Um, I'm trying to get it where the, I think you can see that, colour 03. So those are the yarns that I'm using for my pink fizz. 
and I just love it I really do and I'm just I really want to start wearing it because it's so cozy I love a cozy cozy jumper I mean what I'm wearing it's it's oversized because it's my partner's jumper um but I've adopted it because I love an oversized jumper <laughs> but anyway um yeah so hopefully I can finish my pink fizz soon I really would like to <laughs> but yes that is bedtime knitting at the minute right um the final thing that I have to show you is just a reiteration of this morning Annoyingly, I've left the book over there, but this is for Margot the Swan. So I'm working on Margot the Swan as part of Toft's 12 Birds of Christmas, their Partridge in a Pear Tree book. Uh, Margot is bird number seven. And yesterday I've got mohair on my face. Oh no. <sighs> yesterday I got home and I thought, I need, I need to get a wiggle on with these birds. So I'm gonna try and do a limb a day. So yesterday I finished off the leg. There we go, second leg. So I now have the two legs. There we go. Um, I had done the body from prior before. Um, and then this morning I made her first wing. So there's the first wing. That would be really, really cute on her. Um, I don't know why I'm holding that because I don't know how it goes on. But that is the first wing. And I have actually since cast on for the second wing. So I'm kind of ahead of myself here, but um, at least it's getting me moving with it all. Um, uh, yeah, I really would like to get that finished. So that is Margot the Swan. There she is, underway at least. Um, yeah, I think I have a lot to do actually. Um, plans wise, I obviously Thursday will be dedicated to the mystery knit along again. I could do with tying in some more ends. Um, I'm not quite sure, you know, <laughs> if I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is my flexi day. So I do some hours for my employed job and then I also do any work for my external clients. Um, fortunately, I have had some work off one of my clients. So I'm able to do some work tomorrow, which is such good news to me. The only downside is it means that I, I will be working most of the day tomorrow. However, um, I would like to do some yarn dyeing tomorrow because now that I've done my tester yarns, I'd like to actually dye the proper yarns and then get those up in my shop. So that I would really like to do tomorrow if I can get chance outside of work. So we'll have to see how tomorrow, how the day goes. Um, the other thing that I would like to do is I really could do with doing some more work on the gift projects that I have. So I have a Toft gift project that I'm working on and I also have um, the little flax sweater that I'm working on. I could do with getting those finished. Oh, and Florence Nightingale, I could do with getting Florence finished as well. I also have, um, one of the ladies from work has asked me if I can make her daughter some little ghosts. So I need to find some leftover white yarn. I'm sure I have some leftover, some uh, Lion Brand Feels Like Butter. I think that would be great for these little ghosts. So I might make her a couple of those. If I can find that yarn, I can't remember where it is, but it will be somewhere upstairs in my cupboard, the cupboard of yarn <laughs> somewhere. So I've got some of those to make as well at some point. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think what else there is. There's not really a lot. My advent calendar didn't arrive today, so I'm expecting it to arrive tomorrow, uh, along with everything else that's coming. Um, it's going to be quite busy tomorrow. Um, yeah, I think that's it really. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, the project bags, I'm still deciding on what to do and I'm hoping to start cutting them out soon because I would like to get started on making those. Yeah, oh, there's so much to do but just so little time. <laughs> but yes, anyway, I'm going to leave that there. It is a massively short one today. My apologies for that. But um, yeah, there's just not a lot to show you today. It's a work day, a normal work day. So I spent most of the time out of the house and yeah, not knitting, unfortunately. But um, yes, I will be back again tomorrow and hopefully I will have a little more content for you because I will be at home. Although I will be working, I will be at home. So it'll be a little bit easier for me to film some content for you. So. I'm going to leave that here and thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope that you're all doing well, that you're having lovely weeks 
and yeah thank you once again and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.